Facebook has a very, very big and bold mission, which is to make the world more open and connected, primarily focused on regions where there just isn't internet connectivity. And that's why we're really invested in solar-powered aircraft and lasers as a mechanism to do that. There is no one solution for all countries because population distribution in countries is very different. In some areas, there is the satellite solution. Other areas, terrestrial links. And then for some areas, we are looking at high-altitude airplanes. We're building a very lightweight, very large wingspan aircraft capable of flying above normal airliners, above 60,000 feet, for up to three months at a time. I don't think anybody's flown anything for greater than 14 days under power. We knew from the initial calculations it needed to be a very lightweight, but very stiff design. This is 88 gram uh, T700 carbon fiber. It's been cured. That's about three times as strong as steel and lighter than aluminum. And it's also quite lifty, so when you walk across a windy car park with it, it does try to fly at hand. Have you done that? We've tried that, yeah. Of course we have. Of course we've tried that, yeah. A ground station will transmit a radio internet signal to a mother aircraft, and that will then feed other aircraft in the constellation using laser technology, and they will provide you radio internet coverage. We have to challenge every assumption. We have to challenge the means by which internet is delivered itself. People have been using uh, light to communicate, send messages uh, for a long, long time. We turn the beam on and off, but you do that at billions of times a second. And at Facebook, we are working on advancing the state of the art by at least a factor of 10 to 100. It poses challenges. We try to hit a dime from a couple of miles away. So that's how accurate to be to point the beam to the target. In the 11 meter space we have here in the lab, we're simulating 40 kilometer propagation in the atmosphere. We probably had a look at about five or six different sizes of aircraft. It got bigger every time. I did have quite a nervous day one day when we decided to make it 42 meters. I decided to go over and check the building was big enough. When you bring a road to a rural area, Close it, up. Yeah. it always improves their lives. Similarly, when you bring an information highway to a place, it will really improve the, their livelihood. Andy. It's a bit of innovation, isn't it? Ready? If we can get the aircraft to fly reliably, then we're well on the road to be able to deliver the internet to a lot of people. We have to find that tension where we are pushing the boundaries of what might be possible to go into new frontiers for how we connect.